Hello, and welcome to this video about the five key lessons from the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This book is a personal finance classic that has inspired millions of people around the world to think differently about money and wealth. In this video, we will explore some of the key ideas and insights from the book and how you can apply them in your own life. Lessons 1. The difference between a rich and poor mindset. 2. The importance of financial education. 3. The power of passive income. 4. The importance of taking calculated risks. 5. The need for financial independence. Lesson 1. The first lesson from Robert Kiyosaki's book Rich Dad Poor Dad is about the difference between a rich and poor mindset. Kiyosaki emphasizes that the way people think about money and wealth is fundamental to achieving financial success. He uses his own experiences to illustrate the difference between a rich and poor mindset. The poor mindset is characterized by the belief that money is the answer to all problems. People with this mindset believe that if they had more money, they would be happier and have a better life. They tend to be afraid of risks and avoid making risky financial decisions. Instead, they prefer to play it safe and keep a stable job, even if it's not their dream career. On the other hand, the rich mindset is characterized by the belief that money is a tool for creating wealth and financial freedom. People with this mindset are entrepreneurial and see opportunities in situations that others may overlook. They have the ability to identify a need in the market and create a successful business around it. They also tend to take calculated risks, knowing that failure is part of the path to success. A practical example of the difference between a rich and poor mindset is the attitude towards money. People with a poor mindset usually think of money as something to be saved or spent on superficial things that provide temporary happiness. People with a rich mindset see money as a tool to invest in themselves and their businesses in order to generate long-term wealth and financial security. Another example is the attitude towards work. People with a poor mindset are usually content to work for a salary, without thinking about how they can create their own source of income. People with a rich mindset, on the other hand, are always looking for opportunities to create their own business or invest in assets that generate passive income. The lesson we can learn is that a rich mindset is the key to financial success. To achieve wealth and financial freedom, it is important to change the way we think about money. We need to see money as a tool to create opportunities, generate wealth, and provide long-term financial freedom. By adopting a rich mindset, we can achieve our financial goals and live the life of our dreams. Lesson 2 The second lesson of the book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki highlights the importance of financial education in achieving financial independence. Kiyosaki argues that most people are educated to work for money, instead of learning how to make money work for them. He emphasizes that it is necessary to learn how to manage personal finances and invest wisely to create long-term wealth. Financial education can be applied at every stage of life. Starting from basic education, it is important to teach children the importance of saving, investing, and managing their personal finances. In high school, students should be taught about debts and how to avoid them. In college, it is important to learn how to invest in stocks and understand the financial market. There are many practical examples of how financial education can help a person achieve financial independence. A person who knows how to manage their personal finances can save enough money to invest in their own business or in real estate, thus creating a source of passive income. Additionally, someone with financial education can avoid excessive debt and high interest rates, which can have a significant impact on their quality of life. In summary, the second lesson of Rich Dad Poor Dad emphasizes that financial education is a fundamental skill that should be learned and practiced at every stage of life. It allows people to manage their personal finances more efficiently and invest in opportunities that can create long-term wealth. Lesson 3 
The third lesson from Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, is about the power of passive income. He argues that having a source of income that doesn't depend on your time or effort is one of the best ways to achieve financial independence and the freedom to do what you want with your time. Passive income is money you earn without actively working for it. It's income that comes from investments, royalties, rent, dividends, among other sources. When you create multiple sources of passive income, you create a financial security net that can ensure a more comfortable and worry-free life. For example, imagine you invest in stocks that pay dividends. This means that even if you don't actively work for the company, you'll receive a percentage of its profits. Another example is owning a rental property. You receive money monthly without having to spend much time or effort on it. However, it's important to remember that it's not enough to simply have passive income. You need to know how to invest smartly and diversify your sources of income to ensure a strong financial safety net. Additionally, you need to have patience and understand that passive income takes time to build. Passive income is a powerful tool for achieving financial independence and the freedom to live the life you want. With proper financial education and the right investment, you can create a financial security net and live with more tranquility and comfort. Lesson 4 Lesson number 4 in the book Rich Dad Poor Dad emphasizes the importance of taking calculated risks in financial life. Most people are risk averse and prefer to stay in their comfort zone, even if it means missing out on valuable opportunities. But according to Robert Kiyosaki, taking calculated risks can be one of the best ways to create wealth and achieve financial freedom. Taking calculated risks means carefully analyzing an investment opportunity before making a decision. This includes evaluating potential risks and benefits, weighing options, and making a conscious choice. It's important to remember that all investments involve some level of risk, but it's possible to minimize them with careful planning and a well thought out strategy. An example of taking calculated risks is investing in stocks. Although stocks can be volatile and unpredictable, if you do your research and choose the right companies, you can achieve a significant return. Another example is investing in real estate. Although real estate investment also has its risks, such as maintenance, rental delinquency, etc., it is a proven way to build wealth over time. However, it's important not to confuse calculated risks with bets or risky investments. For example, putting all your savings into a single stock or venture without carefully evaluating the risks involved is a bet, not an investment. It's important to diversify your investments and not put all your eggs in one basket. Taking calculated risks can be scary at first, but over time and with practice, it can become a valuable skill in creating wealth and pursuing financial independence. Learning to evaluate the risks and benefits of different opportunities can help make more informed financial decisions and achieve your long-term financial goals. Lesson 5 Robert Kiyosaki's Lesson 5 is about the need to achieve financial independence. This means having enough income to sustain a desired lifestyle without relying on a specific job or work. Financial independence is the result of a well-planned financial strategy that involves smart investments, spending control, and a disciplined financial mindset. There are several reasons why financial independence is important. Firstly, it offers freedom and flexibility to make choices and decisions based on your own needs and desires, rather than being limited by financial constraints. Secondly, financial independence helps reduce financial stress and anxiety, which can lead to better mental and emotional health. To achieve financial independence, it is important to create a financial plan and commit to following it. This involves controlling your spending, saving money, investing in income generating assets, and learning to manage financial risks. It is important to remember that financial independence is not an easy goal to achieve but it can be attained with planning, discipline, and persistence. 
A practical example of financial independence can be seen in individuals who create passive income streams, such as rental income from properties, investments in stocks, or real estate funds, or royalties from copyrights. These income streams can generate continuous cash flows without requiring much daily work. Another example is creating a successful business that generates enough income to cover expenses and even provide financial freedom. In summary, Robert Kiyosaki's Lesson 5 emphasizes the importance of achieving financial independence as an important goal in life. This can be achieved with a carefully crafted financial plan, a disciplined financial mindset, and building passive income sources over time. With perseverance and dedication, financial independence can become a reality for anyone. Conclusion By concluding this journey through the main lessons of Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, we can clearly see how changing our mindset about money and investments can lead to a more prosperous and satisfying financial life. Through the five lessons we explored, we learned the importance of developing a wealthy mindset, seeking financial education, pursuing passive income, taking calculated risks, and achieving financial independence. These lessons are not just theoretical concepts, but practical ways to apply these concepts in our daily lives. However, to achieve wealth and financial independence, we must be willing to step out of our comfort zone and dedicate time and effort to learn and apply these concepts. It is a continuous and challenging process, but it can lead to a freer and fuller life. Therefore, I encourage you to continue exploring the world of investments and seeking financial education. Subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, comment, and share with someone who needs to see this video. Ask questions and never stop learning. Life is a constant journey. And with the lessons of Rich Dad Poor Dad, we can create a more prosperous and satisfying path on our financial journey. Thank you for watching. See you next time.